Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at drop down alignment. We'll be using the source code from the 11th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the, in the description. We have a drop down setup. You can also apply uh, realign. You know, I mean, you can also realign the drop down. Let's open up our index.html and show you how to realign it. First of all, let's just open it up so you can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right here. We have our homepage login, contact us and about us. Minimize this. Open up our index.html in a text data. So what we want to do is go to this line here where we've got drop down menu, yada yada yada, and we're gonna add another class. It's gonna be called drop down menu and it's going to put dash right this allows us to realign it and you'll see what happens so if we go back refresh you can see nothing's happened but when I click on it it realigns all the way to the right it's basically realigned to the right of its parent element so if I were to just copy and paste this into one of these boxes right here. Now I'll get rid of this div. I'm going to do it into here. Because this is three uh, columns wide on the large screen, which is what we are using at the moment, when I click it, though it's to the right, it's to the right of its parent container. It's not all the way to the right of the screen, so this is a pretty cool thing to know. It's uh, You can realign your drop down. I'm just going to Control Command Z so it's back here and you're using drop down dash menu dash right and it aligns the drop down to the right of the parent container. What I'm going to do is experiment with this, have a look what it looks like on the different screen sizes, put it back in here, maybe put it in the green box and just see if we can make it change size as well. The next tutorial will cover drop down dividers. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description, or you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. Also, check out sonarlearning.co.uk with more videos. All the required links or source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.